just about set to go and pitching in this game Luis Castillo. Well he's putting together a really nice season on the mound ERA in the low threes very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage they're not trying to just walk and hit singles they're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score Leading runs so when you have a guy that can limit the, the other Georgia team from scoring Francisco more than a few Leroy. runs Leroy. that's really tough to beat game in and game out slap the other way foul you one swing and a miss Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the ball to it. The shortstop takes the ball. A one-two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. A Rosarena tracks it down for the out. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Pete Alonso. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly, so watch out when he steps in. Brandon Nimmo stands in now and watches strike one. Nimmo throws right, bats left. Batting second in today's lineup, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in the state of Wyoming. <laughs> Swing and a miss to come out. The high heat, too much on that one. Well, that high forcing fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make That's sure the that they can handle something off speed and just with good spin rate good rotation through the zone elevate it a little bit get a lot of swings and misses and that's a really nice job right there two down nobody on and there's a ball next offering is fouled back Two one right. pitches in there, and the count is even. And Both another down. ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. That right. completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the first. No score. T-Mobile Park starting on the mound in this one Luis Severino and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know it's really just a matter of luck it's there, not man. having a feel the difference the between the bullpen mound Rick to the mound man. out there oh, on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one Severino kicks deals that one fouled off the wind of the pitch foul ball it stays nothing in two Severino that one off the bad part of the bat just a lazy fly ball Taylor makes a nice grab at a full sprint and now we check out the Mariners lineup and so far this year this has not been a very good offense well in this day and age if you can't slug and get on base that OPS has to be at a certain level if you're going to produce runs give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well Randy or Rosarena batting with one down takes a strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Oh and two. Two 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for hurt. using the entire Look field. Here. Just couldn't sit yeah. back long enough on that one. Oh, and now the catcher comes up to him. Cal Raleigh. Fastball ball for a strike. One one. Two outs, bases empty. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. Lindor. Fires across the diamond. That ends the frame. Mariners go down quietly there. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Here's Pete Alonso. Alonso. Castillo back to work. That one's ball, upstairs. Ball one. Ball one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Bouncer to second. Tosses to first. And a quick out number one. The third baby. Mark Vientos. And now it's Mark Vientos. That misses. Ball, ball one. Just no, missed. missed. Boog, one of our favorites. No Jerry strike. Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. That's inside. Inside, ball. just missed. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And... That location will definitely do it. And that's ball four. ball four. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so much that's for that. Pretty, pretty good pitch, but the just doesn't base. get the call on 3 0. Okay. One gone good runner good. at first. Here's the veteran second baseman. Fought off foul. Good eye Ball. right there. One and one. The pitch. Runner takes off. Out to short. Pull. Slings it across. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. That's a good that's piece that's of that's hitting that. right there. The, the job is to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. And a foul ball. Edge of the zone for a strike. Goal and two. The Mets with a chance to score first here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss. it right by him. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back in Seattle, bottom go. half of it at number two. Here's Turner now. And the pitch. Turner, a guy with great bat-to-ball skill. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Kicks and deals. Ball. Oh. 
that one the off ball. the mark. Okay. And that's ball three. He yeah. clips a corner. Lifted in the air out to left. Martinez has a beat on it. Makes the grab one away. Batting good. Good. The second base. The, the batter now, oh, Jorge Polanco. That's in there. And it's 0 1. One down, base is empty. And That's one and two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Oh, he throws it away. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Better in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. One down. Next is the speedy first baseman, Luke Rayleigh. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Right-hander kicks deals. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Man at second. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Zone for a called strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Way one, high one. with that one. And now it's even one and one. Drill to right. Way back there. And that is gone. <laughs> Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got out of it. Base is empty with two away. Here's Dylan Moore. First one offering misses up. badly for ball one. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in at bottom half of inning number two. And that one clips the corner. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And that one is in the dirt. Ball two. Two outs. Got him swinging. 
but two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. And we're back. New inning that. getting started. The and now Vader up to the plate. Harrison. Vader. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Bell uh -huh. finds a corner. That's strike one. Well, the Owen offense one. has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Ball one That's there. The ball. And a foul ball. And the pitch. In two the and dirt. Two. And that's ball two. And that one lifted in the air center field. Robles settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. That is not the right number and stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. High fly ball out to center field. In and to his right. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The bat, the, the shortstop, short Francisco. Francisco. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Fly to left his first time. There's ah. a strike. The M's up by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that one fouled off. And down one two. and two. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, still one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Mets. They trail things here to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. And now for Seattle, Josh Rojas. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. I think he was sitting off speed. No ball. One strike. Pitch misses. And one and one. Wouldn't Two, chase one. that time. Just uh -uh. missed. Oh. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Riding to the plate. Right, right through there for a strike. Down is full. Back to the mound. He's got it. Throws to That's first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now got it. Center fielder. Victor. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. Fly to right his first time. Gets under it and pops it up. Brings it in. Two down. Now, now got it. Left, left fielder. fielder. 
Randy. Now it's Randy Arozarena. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Foul ball there. Here's the 0-2. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. That misses. And yeah, the count one and two. Goes down looking. Nobody left for Seattle as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. We go to the top of the fourth. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. The right hander back to work. Pitch misses there. And that's ball one. One ball. These Mets just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Banks off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. He allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Man at second. Right, right through there for a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And here it comes. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone and right there excellent execution and it finished up in a perfect spot Alonzo oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time Nimmo over at second one down Next nope. pitch is oh. outside. Two one. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Offering misses down and away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Smash to the left side. 
gathers and throws to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So up next for New York, Mark Vientos walked his first time. Swings through that one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Yeah. That one finds the zone. And the count is 0-2. Oh, here in a base hit no errors and one left and midway in the fourth it's the Mariners two and the Mets nothing back in Seattle here's the power hitting catcher Cal Raleigh Cal Raleigh and the pitch. Raleigh in his third season, 27 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2018. 0 oh, and 2 now. On the ground to third, and that squirts through. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Justin Turner now. He's 0 for 1. That one fouled off. Turner's an interesting guy to talk hitting with. He's someone that kind of espouses the modern hitting philosophy. The whole let the ball travel, let the ball get deep. For Justin Turner, that is beaded with that. I want to hit one the ball one. out front. I want to hit the ball out in front of the plate. That's what he is trying to do. The pitch. And yeah, that's, that's a little bit high. Ball. And a count two and one. Swings through that. Two and two to count. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. And he deals. That Full misses count. off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. Five foul balls in this at-bat so far, and these two are going head-to-head. -head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch. Even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Well, that's a nice job of riding out that advance. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. And up next for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. A double and a run scored his first time up. Right through there for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Righty delivers. Now a screamer into the outfield. Taylor pulls it down. And there's one down. Now down. The first base Luke. Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. Went down on strikes his first time through. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So 
when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average ball. speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team That's that much better. And another ball. What about him playing out. another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it would surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Kicks and fires. Pitch is in there. And it's two and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Two on, one out. Oh. Got a full count. Ground ball right side, and it stays fair. Headed for the plate. We'll throw the third. And he's in safely at third as a run scores. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Runners on the corners with one gone. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Pitch one misses, oh. and it's 1-0. swing and just lost that one into center. Dylan Moore up next for the Mariners. Struck out swinging his first time. Fought off foul. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. The pitch. That one misses. And the count's even at two. has a beat on him. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags for home. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's 5-0. Well, that's the third run of the inning, and this team is doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. Here's Josh Rojas. Round it out back to the pitcher his first time. That one no, is upstairs. That's the ball. One and out. Next no, offering not. upstairs. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Left hand hitter waits. That's the ball. Hanniger leads off first with two down to the inning. And there's the automatic. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. In the air, left side. And it falls. 
throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. So a lefty out of the pen, Danny Young. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Victor Robles. And that one sliced foul. And now the lefty in for a strike. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So they get three runs on four hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We played four. It's the M's five and the Met. Back at T-Mobile Park, top five, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, number 11. The right hater back to work. That ball just misses. High. And that is ball one. Well, these Mets, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Pulls it in for the now out. Luis Torrens. Luis Torrens up now for the Mets. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Ball, ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. And the no, slider ball. just misses. Well, he looks more focused at up. the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And ball. another ball. One out, base is empty. There's a strike, three and one. Three and one. And yeah, there's ball Take four. Base. Ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, Ooh, that's a good bat, question. Bat. Um, um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Bader Good. in the box now. No balls and a strike. 0 oh and 1. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. outside. And it's 1 and 1. Just that missed. That's missed. The ball. Offering in there for a strike. It's two and two. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Well struck left field. A Rosarina going back. And he brings it in on the warning track. Now Bella. The right field. Man at first. Tyrone Taylor, the next to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Swings through that one for strike one. You're a The Mariners strike? leading by five. And we're at the top of the fifth. That pitch gets the corner. That's strike two.
And that, that one ball. is inside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs. And they'll do it again. That one nope. missing well, inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. It's the M's five and the Mets nothing. And we're back. And now here is Randy Arozarena. And the pitch. Sharp ground there. That's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now and stepping in for the Mariners, Cal Raleigh. One for two. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. That's yeah. in there. Going one. When you have a catcher oh, that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact that's and well, have a better well. opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, two strikes. That two, one two. missed. A Rosarena gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Let's Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one gone. Two. So now Turner in on that right side. Turner. Jack yeah. Swing went around. That's strike one. one. Snap throw to first. No. The Rosarina dives back. Starts him off with the breaking ball, which isn't surprising. They're trying to keep him off balance, but he's been known to connect on the breaking stuff, too. Here's your one. One and one. Pitch out, but no action. Man at first, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. score easily but it's now a six run lead well that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there solid swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension and he met it out front for the line drive knock Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners 
And that's Ball, off that's the inside edge. Ball one. And a no, good eye there. That's the ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Left hand batter waits. Hey, Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. Two and one. And another oh, ball. That's low, that's He's ball. getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Runners at first and second with one gone. Last half of inning number five. Downstairs, nope, and it four. misses Take ball four. The bat, the, bat. the right the field. field. Mitch yeah. Hanniger getting ready to Hanniger. hit. He's already homered here in this one. It's in and out of his glove. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. So digging in, Dylan Moore. We just might be talking about this at bat in our postgame round. He's proven he can drive in runs in these spots. Late with the swing there. 0 oh, and 1. Chopped up the middle and deflects off the pitcher. And he beats the throw. He's safe. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like the new pitcher in the game, Sean Manaya. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. First and third, two away. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. He swings and fouls one off. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. And a foul ball. Step off. Throw to first. And he's back in safely. Rayleigh on third. Moore at first. Two out of the inning. Stays alive. The 0 2. Ground ball left side. Fires over to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. Three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Five innings complete. It's the Mariners eight and the Mets nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Francisco Lindor. Castillo back to work. That's ball, down, that's the ball. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind and the pitch. And that one ripped to left, oh. and it goes just foul. The one two. Out to short, more. Zips it across, 
And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The bat, the bat number nine. Designated hitter. Brandon, Brandon Nimmo up Nimmo. now for the Mets. And a good fastball to start him off. No ball, strike one. one strike. pitch and that one hammered that's back there that one is gone a solo shot his 17th of the year it's 8-1 Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. One out, base is empty. And here is J.D. Martinez. Swing and a miss, strike one. It's 0-1. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're in the top half of the sixth. And ball, ball one. One ball, one strike. Swing, and a ball popped up. Polanco settles underneath it, and it's caught for the out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to now stay bad. in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Alonso. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boog, light tower power? That's right. And that's Ball. down it away. One out. Yeah, nice big one. swing and a miss. One and one. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 8-2. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. So two down, and next for the Mets, Mark Vientos. A strikeout and a walk. First nope, pitch misses. Outside. Ball. in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, One, two. that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly oh. difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Wouldn't Down chase that time. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And this is now an 8-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Bottom of the six. Here's Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Right through there for a strike. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. And he grounds one to the right side. Slings to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. Now back, no left fielder, Randy. So up next, Randy or Rosarena, one for three. And that's in for a strike. Really good cutter oh, that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. That's the ball. Just missed. One and one. Here's a one one. Swing and a foul straight back. The M's up big in this one here in the bottom of the sixth. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And it's two and two. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The throw to first, they get the out on a Rosarena. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport. That's always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand, but what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was as smooth as it gets, and it had to be with the wheels going down the line. Alonso, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. They lead it eight, two. Number 22 gets the ball now. He's pitching on two days rest. Now pitching for the Mariners. Number 22, Ryan. Now it's the second baseman. The second baseman, Jose Iglesias. Here comes a pitch. And that one oh, just misses a ball and no strikes. Movement in the bullpen, number 52, the young right-hander up and throwing. The wind of the pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. Right-handed reliever. And a ground ball to first. What a stop to first. Wide throw, and it gets away. The catch at number 13. Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. And at first, next to hit, Luis Torrens. Swing it a foul straight back. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Ball oh. one there. It's a good take. Harrison Bader up now for the Mets. 
Here you talk about here. elite defensive Ooh. players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. He ah. swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, one. One. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Nabs it. The right field, number 15, Tyrone Taylor. Now it's the right fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Foul ball. Two outs. And a foul ball. And that's oh, outside. outside. And the count is one and two. Three. Met strand one, and it's still eight two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's Justin Turner. As the lefty gets to work. Just ball off the outside. outside edge, and that's ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Adam Adovino up and loosening in the pen. And here it comes. That one fouled off. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled to first and Turner is retired now that second base Jorge Polanco will hit next Manaya, no, the tall lefty he features a sinker a slur a changeup a cutter and he works in a four seamer right side Taylor makes the grab. Two down. Now bad. The, the first baseman. Base Luke. Luke. And now the first baseman, Luke, Luke Rayleigh. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And that one fouled off. The Mariners up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. The next Ball. offering misses, and the count is one and one. And yeah. that's in for a strike. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. And the uh -huh. one two Ball. misses to even the count. And Ball. another ball. He's really tightening up his hitting zone so with two strikes here. I love it. And miss struck him out, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back in Seattle, ready to begin the eighth. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The line to kick the pitch. That's in there. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Now the 0-1. The shortstop the takes the ball. That one two misses. One. Yeah, that's ball two.
And the right hander deals. Right hand out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And now the DH, Brandon Nimmo. He's already homered in this game. Brandon Nimmo. And that no, one that cutting but missing one down ball, low. No strike. And it's fouled away. Base is empty one away and we're at the top of the eighth. Strike. And now That's two ball. balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Here as he fouls it away. On the ground, right That's side. Ball. And foul ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Sends it across yeah. the first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, just misses. And another ball. Inside, oh, just missed. And the righty deals. All and there's right. the automatic. 3 1. Next offer in there for a strike. And the count's Down full. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Two down, nobody on. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Yeah. And the Mets go one, two, three. Back at T-Mobile Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Manaya back to work. And there's the strike. Your balls, one strike. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker one ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And there's one away. The bat, the shortstop, Dylan Moore. Here's the shortstop at the play, Dylan Moore. Strike on the inside corner. It's 0-1. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Swings hey. through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two down. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Yeah.
And now for Seattle, Josh Rojas. And Down, it takes ball. low for ball one. Two outs. Right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. Three up, three down, inning over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mariners eight and the Mets two. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, number 52. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Pete Alonso now at the plate. Alonso. The pitch. Just missed. One out. And another ball. Just no, off it. the inside edge. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has yeah. it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Oh, when you fall behind in the count, you've now, got to now, come now. into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Now the third baseman, Mark Vientos. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rudder at first with no outs here. He swings and fouls one off. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And now the count, one and two one after the swing and the miss. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Taylor Saucedo, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Garcia, the right-hander, also getting loose. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The Mets with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the night. A little bit no, high. That hit, that's two the ball. and two. That was the emergency hack right there. Righty delivers. Misses that off hit, the inside. The and the count's full. Full count. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Not the start now, to this uh, inning he was hoping for phase. on the mound. Okay. Now he's going to have to really dial Completely. it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. Here's the second baseman. And that's too high. No outs, runners at first and second. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw is offline and he scores. And it's 8 3. Comes through with the RBI. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Now the catcher up to hit, Luis Torrens. Center field, Robles has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. You know, Ken Griffey Jr. is synonymous with baseball in Seattle. And he actually participated in the groundbreaking of this stadium. 
And in 2007, when he came back to town as a Cincinnati Red, the Mariners gave him a framed photo of the stadium with the caption, the house that Griffey built. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Three flyouts already. He's 0 for 3. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And that one is inside ball one. One out. Runners at first and second. Way ah. out front for strike two. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Two on, one out. Line drive. Come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. So they're down to their final out. And yeah, the batter now, Tyrone Taylor. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. No ball, one strike. Two on, two outs. Two They're right. down to their final strike. 0 oh and 2. This could end it. That misses. One, and the count one and two. Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.